Matthew Bible Summary to Deuteronomy 24 Divorcement is permitted. He that is newly married shall not be compelled to go to war. The remnants of corn must be left in harvest for the poor. The 24th chapter When a man hath taken a wife and married her, if she find no favor in his eyes, because he hath spied some uncleanness in her, then let him write her a bill of divorcement, and put it in her hand, and send her out of his house. If, when she is departed out of his house, she go and be another man's wife, and the second husband hate her, and write her a letter of divorcement, and put it in her hand, and send her out of his house. Or if the second man die, which took her to wife, her first man, which sent her away, may not take her again to be his wife, inasmuch as she is defiled. For that is abomination in the sight of the Lord, that thou defile not the land, with sin, which the Lord thy God giveth thee to inherit. When a man taketh a new wife, he shall not go a warfare, neither shall be charged with any business, but shall be free at home one year, and rejoice with his wife which he hath taken. No man shall take the nether or the upper millstone to pledge, for then he taketh a man's life to pledge. If any man be found stealing any of his brethren the children of Israel, and maketh chiefsons of him, or selleth him, that these shall die, and thou shalt put evil away from thee. Take heed to thyself as concerning the plague of leprosy, that thou observe diligently to do according to all that the priests the Levites shall teach thee. As I commanded them, so ye shall observe to do. Remember what the Lord thy God did unto Miriam by the way. After that ye were come out of Egypt. If thou lend thy brother any manner succor, Thou shalt not go in to his house to fetch a pledge, but shalt stand without. And the man to whom thou lendest shall bring thee the pledge out at the door. Furthermore, if it be a poor body, go not to sleep with his pledge, but deliver him the pledge again by the sun go down, and let him sleep in his own raiment, and bless thee. And it shall be righteousness unto thee before the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not defraud an hired servant that is needy and poor, whether he be of thy brethren or a stranger that is in thy land within thy cities. Give him his hire the same day, and let not the sun go down thereon. For he is needy, and therewith sustaineth his life, lest he cry against thee unto the Lord, and it be sin unto thee. The fathers shall not die for the children, nor the children for the fathers, but every man shall die for his own sin. Hinder not the right of the stranger, nor of the fatherless, nor take widow's raiment to pledge. But remember that thou wast a servant in Egypt, and how the Lord thy God delivered thee thence. Wherefore I command thee to do this thing, when thou cuttest down thine harvest in the field, and hast forgotten a sheep in the field, 
thou shalt not go again and fed it. But it shall be for the stranger, the fatherless, and the widow, that the Lord thy God may bless thee in all the works of thine hand. When thou beatest down thine olive trees, thou shalt not make clean riddance after thee, but it shall be for the stranger, the fatherless, and the widow. And when thou gatherest thine vineyard, thou shalt not gather clean after thee, but it shall be for the stranger, the fatherless, and the widow. And remember that thou wast a servant in the land of Egypt, wherefore I command thee to do this thing. <laughs> 